Okay guys, I uh, haven't recorded in a while. I'm going to try and start putting some more videos out there. But I've had some uh, requests for a video on this four facet drill bit sharpener I built. And so, uh, this is it. A lot of the parts are 3D printed. The plans I downloaded for most of these parts off the internet. Some of them I built myself. Uh, I made the clip that holds this collet lock to the board. I also built the box in the lid for the collets, collet holder box. I built the clip for the wrenchy. It holds the wrenchy in place. Uh, the switch box. I designed for the this particular model. The motor came off a uh, 12 inch drill press that I bent the spindle on and so I had it already. The wheel adapter was made on the lathe. What else? I think that's about it. The rest of the parts were downloaded uh, from the internet. I'll post the site uh, below in the description of this video and so you guys will have that information. Today I'm going to demonstrate on a 932nd drill bit. Let's see if I can get this in focus. It's in rough shape. It's not in horrible shape, but it's in rough shape. And so we'll attempt to get it in good working order. Uh, with this sharpener, I'm going to do the primary and secondary angles. And then I'll probably uh, relieve the backside on my sander. And then I do a split point just using my Dremel tool. So it uh, starts a hole really nice. Anyways, back in a moment. Okay, the chisel angle is predetermined by the design at either 118 or 135, depending on where you set the collet block. We're going to be using 135. The secondary relief angle is set by this post that drops down. That's the first cut we'll do. And then the primary angle, flip that up, and we're going to use the wheel to set the table at 16 degrees, which is recommended for the size of drill bit we are sharpening today. Ready.
just a little more. Secondary angle's done. And the primary angle, this size drill bit. Is 16 degrees. And so we're gonna try and hit that mark. Looks pretty good. Looks like I have to turn the drill bit just a little bit to make it square. So I'll go ahead and do that. I gotta recalibrate it.
better. There we go. Put a little bit of a split point on it, and it looks like we have to bring that trailing edge down just a little bit, which I'll do on the sander. Finished product. Okay, giving the bit a test drive. Here we go. Nice and smooth. 